good news, bad news thing here. There this morning we are seeing more beaches across southwest Florida open back up for the first time since the hurricane. But unfortunately, we are also tracking more red tide. Yeah, Fox Sports John Barron is live this morning at the Benina Beach Dog Park to show us how things are looking at the beach. And that one just opened, right, John? Yeah, absolutely. One of many that will be doing so here in the month of March as we continue to see that roll in. Something we're going to continue to see as well as Trent was giving you guys that forecast is that heat is going to continue to you know make its way back here to southwest Florida as it continues to cover all of Florida. And like you just said, really right here at Bonita Beach, just one of many beaches that opened yesterday, but a lot more coming here in the month of March. Take a look at your screen. We want to give you a heads up of what we're seeing with the red tide as well as some of those beaches that are just starting to open up here in the month of March. No. I'm going to start with the reopening. Let's start with Dog Beach, like you just said right here, and Boca Grande Beach are both back open. They opened up just this week. But even with those beaches opening back up, it doesn't mean it'll be a great time to go. Red tide continues to impact our areas as we start to grow a little bit closer to those warmer months. Now, also take a look at this. According to the latest map from FWC, it shows it's all of those areas right there covered right now in orange and red. That's either medium or high levels of red tide. And we are currently seeing new levels really in the high ones over in Collier area. And that's really the next update is going to be coming out tomorrow. So we'll get a better understanding from FWC of exactly what we'll be looking at. But as far as other Lee County beaches, here's a look at the timeline for the month of March. Now, around the middle of the month, the county plan is to open up Allison Hagara Beach Park. That's over in Captiva. And along with the Bonita Beach, San Carlos Bay and Bunch Beach Preserve on South Fort Myers, those are just a couple of the ones that will continue to make their way here into Southwest Florida, continue to opening back up in the month of March. Of course, as far as those red tide levels, we'll have to keep an eye on them to see exactly how much they're going to affect us. But really right now, that's one of those things that you're going to have to worry about if you're going to be trying to have a beach day. You can find all that on FWC's website, but also you can find all that information on Fox4Now.com. For now, live here in Bonita Beach, John John Barron, Fox 4. That's John. Later on on Fox 4 Morning News at 7, we're going to go a little further in depth when it comes to red tide and how it's affecting beaches in Collier County. We also want to put into perspective how crews are cleaning up Fort Myers Beach after it had a pretty uh, serious bout of red tide recently.